Hi guys, so today's video we're going to be playing around with the Raspberry Pi 2 um, using Kodi and what we're going to be doing is looking at um, some movie streaming services so I know there's a big thing about Mashup TV um, I had a bit of difficulty getting it working because of all the links going down and so on but I did find an alternative called Genesis and it works really really well so this is how we do it so the first thing we're going to do is we've reset Kodi back to its defaults um, so that we can see the performance of the application um, starting from scratch rather than it caching any details or anything. So the first thing we need to do is add in the source. So we'll go over to System and then go over to File Manager. Go to Add Source and then type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot xbmc hub dot com and then hit enter give it a friendly name so we'll call it fusion and that's added that in so what you need to do now is click on the home button and if you go into the system go into the add-ons and then now go to install from zip file go to your fusion and then go to start here and then go down to the bottom one which is the hub wizard and then let that install As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the uh, config wizard has now added successfully. So we go to programs and then run that. Now these are all the different operating systems that it supports. So what we need to do on the Raspberry Pi is uh, go down to Linux. and just say yes to that so this does take quite a while so I'm going to speed through this bit uh, otherwise I'll bore the socks off of you I've speeded that up a thousand percent so that's, that's not uh, the Raspberry Pi being super fast <laughs> and there we have it Genesis app is down on the videos section so the first time you run it, it is a bit laggy, um, just mainly because it's caching all the details. So we look at movies, uh, genre, see what comes up. So as you can see, we've got quite quite an extensive list there. So let's see what's in the first one. It is taking its time. Come on. So this this is dependent upon your internet speed. There you go. Right. So let's see what we've got. So let's test out uh, the Avengers. And there we go, there's a list of sources. So we'll test the first one, see if it responds. Mm, loading. Ah, there you go. And freeze. Oh, no, it's going again. Come on, get going. It's buffering here. There you go, it's moving now. So yeah, we just had a little bit of a delay there getting going, but that's more my broadband speed rather than the Pi, um, I suspect. So, should be getting some nice super fast broad, um, fiber, so we shouldn't have these issues anymore. But yeah, that's actually running really smoothly. <coughs> It's 
excuse the focusing, it's the, um, it's the only way I can capture the Pi's output at the moment. Yeah, that, that's working actually really, really well. And the picture is actually very, very clear, considering that's been downloaded live as a stream. Come on, focus. There we go. I think what I'll do, because this was a default installation, I just need to check my config. Because um, we wiped it all out and I didn't set it up at the beginning. So um, if we just go down to uh, system and we just change that to 1080p. There we go, I'll just set that to 60. I mean, we'll, we'll change this sync display anyway to 24p, but um, just set up my audio. Just realise a lot of settings are missing because I haven't got the expert settings on. There we go. Right, so we enable pass through because we're using a separate amp here. So the uh, amp will do the decoding, not the Pi. Whoa, that's a clear picture. I am suitably impressed actually, that's not bad. Alright, let's get this um, video stopped. Right, there we stop it. Come on, stop. There we go. So just go just have a quick look at the settings again, because I was asked in a previous video if it supported um, what what DTS options it supported and it only supports DTS and AC3 nothing else so there's no um, Dolby True HD on this um, on the Pi and there we have it Cody running movies on a Raspberry Pi 2 thanks for watching guys and see you again very very soon